All right, a real quick one today. I want to talk about PNP and modules. PNP and modules are a great way for two PLCs to talk to each other. Uh, the real key benefit of this module is that the two processors can be on completely separate IP addresses and they'll still talk through this module. In fact, you can think of this module split right down the middle. So I have one PLC. Let's set this guy here. It's my YouTube one. If I click window and go to my YouTube two. Here's my next one. I have the first PLC going through a switch into the PNP coupler and out of the PNP coupler into the other PLC. So they're on the same network uh, subnet. However, it still works, but you don't need to be on the same subnet. And that's what makes them really cool. So I will show you, uh, just for speed sakes, I already set this whole thing up. The PNP coupler has uh, two ports on it. it. Actually has four because each port, each port pair acts as like a, a mini two port switch. So the first port pair of the PNP coupler will be called X1, and the second port pair will be called X2, and it is important when you put these things into your project, which one you choose. So if in my case, I just clicked and dragged this guy up here, or X1, the first port, and for the other guy, I clicked and dragged X2 up to there. So he's going into the uh, second uh, port pair. Now in the configuration for these guys, you have in the IO module dropdowns here, you have in, in, out, and outs. Now in, outs are very simple, probably the best ones to use. Uh, you have choices of like uh, 16, 32, 20 as well. And you just drop them here and you say, I want these to be uh, address 100, address 100, easily like that. And the other side, you do the same thing on the same slot, in, out, 100, 100. Well, you don't have to be 100, 100. It could be whatever address you want as long as these 60 in out matches. Now on this guy, I have in then out on slot two and three. Now that has to be reversed if you're gonna do that. This guy have out and then in. Uh, it has to be reversed for, if you wanna use these things separately like that, but I think in out's the best because it's just the easiest. So real quick, just to show this thing working, let's go ahead and right click on our in out here. Let's go to modify and monitor, we'll hit monitor. These are all our inputs coming in. We want to skip all past this and go to our queues. And let's just go to, say, our third queue. Hit one, enter. We'll hit modify so that turns on the third bit of the outputs. And if we go over to our other PLC, and we go monitor, modify on the in out section again, and we hit monitor. Look at that, the third bit of the inputs is on in this guy. So real simple. There's not even software to be done here. This is all just hardware, and it's easy. You don't have to mess with NetPro either, which is really nice. So there you go. Just that simple. Goodbye.